Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Well, it's another first impressions video, and it's another watch that I featured on one of my AliExpress wish list videos. This one is the Gustav Becker. This is a sort of a homage watch of actually a seagull Chinese watch. And so for me, that is a little bit odd, buying a, a Chinese watch, which is homaging another Chinese watch. But there were a couple of clear things that made this one the choice for me rather than the original. Firstly, it was cheaper. Not significantly cheaper, but certainly at a, at a price that I can actually afford to put into this watch. And it also had a movement in it that I preferred. Now this watch is made by Serges. I've experienced a couple of watches from them before and I've always been very happy with them, which is one of the reasons why I was quite happy buying this watch. And if you are interested in buying this watch after watching this first impressions video, I will leave one of those affiliate links down below. And if you are enjoying this content and you like to watch my videos, I would really appreciate if you hit on that subscribe button. Thank you so much. But let's flip the camera around now and in the first impressions style video, let's check out this Gustav Becker. Well here is a first for me, first Gustav Becker watch. It is by Sergius however so it is sort of a, a known sort of quantity or at least for me. It's mechanical, well that's fantastic and it is also a homage of a watch that is sort of almost affordable, a Seagull watch. Yes it's affordable but still a little bit beyond what I want to spend on this style of watch and this one for me a big positive is it contains the Seiko NH35 rather than the Seagull movement. Not that I have anything about Seagull movements but I always do prefer the Seiko movements. A little bit of a manual there, a warranty card, oh it's not filled out, that, that, that's rather surprising isn't it? Uh, no it's not, of course it's not. And here we have the watch that is in question, the, the Gustav Becker and they describe it as a army force watch. So it's a Chinese army watch perhaps but it's also quite a big watch which was something that was worrying me a little bit about it but let's check it out first of all let me say it is not a small watch but it's not gigantic either um, it does have a quite a long lug to lug of around 50 millimeters i'll talk to you all about those in the actual full review of the watch but it actually has a bit of weight to it it's not hugely thick by any means either but there is a bit of substance to it and the strap the strap is actually better than I expected. This one is a relatively affordable watch, costing around about 160 Australian dollars. And for 160 Australian dollars, I have to admit, I'm actually very impressed. The overall finishing of the case is really good. There's got some sort of vertical brushing there. It's it's not super fine, but hey, we're looking at an army style watch. We want it, we kind of want it to be a little bit rough and ready, don't we? Um, it does have a logo there. Looks a bit like an envelope. Now. You may know if you've bought a watch from AliExpress before, you quite often get these little blue dots or this blue plastic covering up the crown. This one was a pain in the bottom. I spent way, way too long trying to get that blue plastic off, but I think I've got it all off now. On the other side, we've got some Chinese writing, which I think is exactly the sort of homage of the watch that it is homaging. Um, we've got skeletonized hands there. There's a sort of 3D effect to the, um, the numbers, or they look like they're applied numbers. But quite interesting, I think that every part of those numbers is loom. So it's actually made out of a loom material, the, the whole numbers themselves. And they, yep, they do look applied. They don't look like they're molded as part of the dial. They do look like they're actually applied. Second hand's cool. It's got the little star counterbalance, red tip. Yeah, is it long? Yeah, it's relatively long. I do like long hands. Uh, Gustav Becker, it is applied a uh, star there uh, under the 12, 21 joules, water resistance to 50 meters. And sapphire so i'm assuming it's sapphire crystal and i think there's actually a bit of ar coding as well for 160 australian dollar watch i think that's actually a lot for your money on the back here we have a picture of a tank again gustav becker with the star uh, it's not very 3d it's got that sort of laser etch kind of feel to it relatively smooth uh, 50 meters what else we got written here anything else Nope, just 50 meters. Okay, there we go. Gustav Becker, 50 meters. That's what we're getting. Uh, canvas sort of style strap. Some reinforcing on those holes there. And uh, doesn't say leather anywhere. It doesn't smell like leather either. So there's just like a some sort of material on the bottom there. Probably stop you sweating through onto it. What I can say is it's actually quite thick material and it really feels like a proper sort of hardy canvas. It, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed by that strap. Uh, GB on the buckle there. Uh, it's an okay buckle and tang. It feels solid enough. 
Uh, the keepers are okay. First one's solid, as you normally expect. Next one, next one is loose. Feels okay. Not perfect, but it actually feels quite good. It really feels like there's some substance to this watch. A little bit of weight, a little bit of heft. And that's probably because it is slightly bigger. Now, the dial. Let's check out that dial. It seems like a matte sort of olive green, sort of army green, which is kind of what we're expecting. Which is kind of cool, really. Having a bit of a green, sort of army inspired watch. But let's stick it on wrist. I've got a six and three quarter inch wrist, which is a medium wrist. Let's see if this fits me. Okay, not too many holes. I think I've only got one more hole, but it's on pretty tight at the moment. I'm probably more likely to wear it on that hole. So you can probably wear it on a slightly smaller wrist than me, but it is quite a large watch. So you probably wouldn't want to be wearing it on a smaller hole because your wrist might be too small for this watch. So if you look straight down, yes, you can see it's a big watch. And I think it does fit my wrist, but only just. It's probably one of the bigger watches in my collection. And I have to say, if it was one mil bigger, I'd probably be saying it's too big for me. My test always is, is if you're looking straight down, just like this, if you can see any of my wrist, top and bottom, and if you can see the strap or bracelet curve away from it a little bit, then that is okay. Oh yeah, really pushing the boundaries with this one, but it doesn't look like that. So I think it's doable. I think it's only just doable. I'll be honest, if you've got a wrist smaller than mine, any smaller than six and three quarters, I'm gonna say do not buy this one. It does actually sit quite nicely on wrist, however. I think a seven inch wrist would be perfect for this one, but I actually don't mind it. I don't mind a slightly bigger watch as long as there's no overhang. So yep, I'm okay with it, just. All right, guys, as always, this is a watch I'm going to be wearing four to six weeks, get a good, real good understanding of it so I can do a full in-depth review. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this first impressions of this rather interesting different watch. And I do hope to see you in the next video.